Hello, and welcome to the College Essay Advisor's Why Essay Tutorial. Today we're going to teach you how to tackle one of the most dreaded and pervasive of all the supplemental essays, the Why Essay. Um, and these essays essentially ask, why do you want to go here? They're assigned uh, by many schools in their uh, school-specific supplements as a complement to the Common Application Personal Statement. And these essays are really designed to try and um, give an admissions officer a better idea of fit. What, what about your past experiences and future goals um, have led you to the doorstep of this particular institution? What of their resources will you take advantage of? What do you want to study? Why do you want to study it? And how much do you really know about what a school has to offer in the way of academics, extracurriculars, and, and other opportunities on campus? Um, so the, the two things that you really are going to want to communicate in these essays are, one, a deep knowledge of any given school's offering. So do you understand the programs? Do you know what kinds of things you're going to be learning and the structure you're going to be learning them in? And is this something that you feel is, is suitable for your own um, learning style and, again, your future goals? And admissions is also looking for you to build a bridge for them and connect your past achievements and, um, and your future academic and professional goals to the things they have to offer, um, both academically and otherwise. So in order to make these connections, in order to present a picture of good fit to admissions, um, you're going to have to do a lot of research. And you can accomplish this in one of a number of ways. Um, the first way that you can find out more about a school and what they have to offer is obviously to do a campus visit. Um, if you're lucky enough to have the opportunity to visit your target schools, uh, I definitely recommend you take a bunch of notes. We all think we're going to remember every little detail of, uh, of our experiences when we're walking around on campus. But um, I know personally, I forget the little stuff. So writing down the name of your uh, of your tour guide uh, or the professor that you stopped in the hall to ask a couple of questions is always a good idea. If, like so many, uh, you don't have the opportunity to visit a school's campus before you apply, you are lucky because you live in the age of the internet and uh, every school at this point has a hugely robust resource uh, on the internet that they're hoping you will take advantage of. This is as much of an exercise, uh, this application process is as much of an exercise in school selling themselves to you as it is, uh, you know, in you selling yourself to a school. And all of these institutions want to give you as much information as they possibly can for you to make an informed decision. They want the fit to be good, too. So, um, you know, you, you are going to have to throw your headphones on, immerse yourself in the website for a couple of hours and really dig around to get the information you need. But it's all there for the taking. And we're going to show you how to walk through some of these websites as they relate and, and find some information as it relates to these, uh, these different kinds of why essays. Um, something to keep in mind as we dive in uh, to our examples is that the examples we're going to cover are in service of larger lessons that can be applied to really any of these why essays. The idea is, is generally the same. The focus is a little bit different for, for each one. And um, obviously, the word count and the scope is a little bit different. But um, you know the, the tactics we're going to use to pull valuable information out of these websites and connect them to your uh, interests and experiences is, uh, is going to be widely applicable. Let's start with the Michigan essay. Describe the unique qualities that attract you to the specific undergraduate college or school, including preferred admissions and dual degree programs to which you are applying at the University of Michigan. How would that curriculum support your interest? In 500 words. So this is a rather lengthy why essay um, as compared to most. 500 to 650 words uh, is usually the top limit for most schools. Um, this year, Cornell has a 650 word why essay. Wisconsin has, I believe, a 500 word why essay. Um, so again, that's usually the top limit. We're going to get to an exception in a minute. But uh, but this should be a very robust explanation of your academic interest. And again, solely focused on what you're going to the school to learn and, and how you're hoping to learn it. So let's start at the University of Michigan's website. And I do recommend that you begin your search for any information about a school from the homepage. Um, it's especially important to start here for uh, academic information because if you just type in um, business school, University of Michigan, 
Uh, there's about a 50-50 chance you're going to end up on a page that describes a graduate program to you. And it's often very hard to tell, um, you know, until you really, unless you're really paying super close attention, which you want to do. But it's it can be very confusing if you land in the wrong section. So start from the homepage and, and dig your own very specified tunnel to the information that you want to find. Um, another interesting thing to point out about the University of Michigan site is they have this section here for prospective students. And a lot of colleges are adding this section to their websites just because, um, you know, the admissions department has some things that they really want applicants to know. It's a shortcut to a lot of the information that you're going to be that you're going to be looking for everything from, you know, costs in financial aid to, um, I'm sorry, cost in financial aid is here for undergraduates. And, uh, you know, and visiting information, housing and dining, and of course, um, majors and, uh, and academic information, which is where we're going to click right now to help us address our question about academics. So here we come to majors and degrees. And if we click on choosing a school or college, let's say you want to be an engineering major, um, does the University of Michigan have an engineering school? That's something you're going to want to know. And yes, they do. Um, so again, this is just a sort of finding the details, digging around, seeing what a school has to offer. And, uh, and then we can look through all relevant majors. Now you're going to want to dig in as deep, uh, as you possibly can related to the, uh, the fields of study that you're hoping to pursue. I right now I'm hoping to pursue, where are you business at the university of Michigan? And it's really important to, to explore every aspect of, uh, of the website and the program that you're hoping to apply to. University of Michigan's Ross uh, Business School happens to be a great example because when you're talking about uh, wanting to go to business school at Ross in your Y essay, you might be compelled to say something along the lines of, I can't wait to dive into the business classes at Ross. Well, you actually can't dive right into the business classes at Ross because Ross has something called the Preferred Admissions Program. And you can apply to essentially join the Ross school officially in your sophomore year. You really only get a taste of the Ross program um, in your freshman year, which is predominantly um, it's predominantly focused on liberal arts classes and laying a, a good broad foundation. Um, but if you do, if, if you don't look through the website and see that the University of Michigan is structured this way, you know, there's a very good chance you're going to misrepresent the things that you want to take advantage of or that you're just going to be flat out wrong in describing what you want to do. Michigan asks only about academics. They do have a, a fairly robust website that tells you, you know, many things, everything from community oriented things to their, um, you know, their sports and extracurriculars, etc. But not until we get to the Tulane question, which we're going to um, discuss in a second, do you actually have the opportunity to really discuss those kinds of things. The Tulane prompt says, please describe why you were interested in attending Tulane University in 50 to 1,000 words. Um, so this, as you can see, is a much more general question. It isn't solely focused on academics, although you definitely want to, uh, you know, you want to point your focus in that direction at some point. You're really going to want to familiarize yourself with the school, the school's mission, um, other general things about the community and environment that make Tulane an appealing place for you. And again, build that bridge, connect it to experiences that you've personally had that you know you want to continue moving forward in your education. Of course, we're going to start again at the website, uh, at the website's homepage. And I am going to just click on academic departments so we can see all of the schools that Tulane has to offer here. And I think at Tulane, we maybe should study sociology. So we get to the Department of Sociology. Here, we see they're outlining the undergraduate program for us, so we can take a look at the major and minor requirements, what does the honors program look like, the fact that they even have an honors program is, is, is news to us that we now know, um, and I always find it interesting to take a peek at the course catalog just to see, you know, if you're going to be a student in this program, what kinds of classes do you actually have access to? Um, and the answer is 
classes on sociology of the family or gender in society or urban sociology. And if you're not sure what these classes mean, click on them. Read the uh, read the descriptions. This one's kind of a short description, but I know some of them actually, um, you know, go into a little bit of depth as to what kinds of things you're going to explore in these classes. So it's never a bad idea to take a peek at course catalog. You know, have you taken an elective in your in your high school education that you can connect to, you know, is, is one of these courses the next step? Um, making connections like that, again, shows that you didn't just pull this interest out of a hat randomly and decide, okay, fine, I'll apply to sociology at Tulane. Um, there is actual precedent for why you want to do the things you're saying you want to do. I'm going to take us back to the homepage again, um, because now that we're dealing with Tulane, which is asking for more broad details and, and gives you a little bit of wiggle room in terms of the things you focus on in your explanation of why you want to go to this university, um, it's interesting, I think, always to look for facts, mottos. Um, you know, are there any other details that you can find? What's a school's overall learning philosophy, teaching philosophy? Um, you know, is the school focused on liberal arts? Do they have a block program? What other things can you talk about that are that are specific and innate to the university's program that you might be able to touch upon and use as a launch point for, um, you know, describing your own motivations for, for education and your academic interests? Um, there's also usually on these websites a little visitation section so you can figure out how you can go and find out more information. And even just honestly looking through the photo gallery at some of these, um, on some of these campuses just helps you get a feel for what it would be like to be at the university if you can't step foot, you know, on the, uh, on the quad. Um, for a place like Tulane, another good thing to look into is, you know, it's located in the city of New Orleans. Do you want to look things up about New Orleans, what resources are available to you, you know, just outside of campus are those things you're going to take advantage of, you know, think, think broadly here, think about what is your overall Tulane experience going to be like, why do I want to go here above going to any other school, how can you best explain that, and again, connect it back to the things you love, to your interests, maybe you love music, and it's always been a hobby of yours, and you want to be in the city of New Orleans, because there's a bustling music scene there that you're dying to explore. Those are the kinds of things that are going to show admissions that you're really paying attention and that, again, your selection is not totally arbitrary. You want to go to their school for a reason. Let's move on to Columbia, another school located in a very vibrant city, which probably should be a part of your explanation of why you want to go to Columbia if you decide that is a place you want to apply. Um, their why question is split in two. Um, there, essentially, there are two small why questions. Um, some other schools will have why questions of a similar length that either just ask you, you know, why in general do you want to go here or why do you want to study the things you want to study? Columbia asks you both. So it's sort of a combination of the Michigan style and Tulane style essays. And uh, let's just take a look at the first prompt. For applicants to Columbia College, please tell us what from your current and past experiences, either academic or personal, attracts you specifically to the field or fields of study that you noted in the member question section. If you are currently undecided, please write about any field or fields in which you may have an interest at this time in 300 words. So first of all, it's notable that Columbia here sort of uh, gives you a little bit of a clue that some of the, why, the other why questions don't. They want to know what from your current and past experience attracts you to the field that you're, that you're noting that you want to study. So I personally think this is implicit in every why question. You always want to connect it back to your personal experience, but Columbia is making it easy. They're asking you. Um, so we're going to start the search again in a very similar way to our search for uh, information about Tulane and Michigan on the beautiful homepage. We're going to check out our academic interests and let's be math majors at Columbia. That sounds like fun, right? Okay, we're going to click into the mathematics department. And again, here, you really do have a little bit of control over it, making sure you're checking out the undergraduate program. And, uh, and this is a great example of how schools are really hoping to give you, they're trying to give you as much information as they possibly can about these programs so you can educate yourself, you can really understand the resources that they have to offer. They're selling themselves to you, they want you to know everything they have available to you, and then you get to decide whether or not this is a good fit.
let's let's talk about the other Columbia question quickly. Please tell us what you find most appealing about Columbia and why 300 words or less. And this is another opportunity, a la Tulane, to just discuss your, your general feelings about Columbia and what attracts you there. What's the teaching philosophy of the school? What's the general... Um, you know, what's the general vibe on campus if you visited? Um, you know, what about Columbia's, maybe what about Columbia's uh, alumni has impressed you in the past? Do you have a role model who went to Columbia? I always think alumni is, is a pretty interesting thing to look up, maybe just as a, another potential launch point for just talking about your interests and how you hope they, um, you know, can sort of unfold using the resources at any given school. And an interesting tip for alumni is, I always just love to Wikipedia lists of, uh, of alumni at universities. Obviously, Wikipedia isn't always a reliable resource, so you definitely want to double check and make sure that the, uh, the people that you're, you're referring to actually went to the university that you're saying they went to. But um, Wikipedia provides a list of alumni for essentially every, every single school. So it's just a good place to look for, um, for a giant list of, uh, of people who could potentially inspire you and, uh, and help you write something interesting about your intended place of learning. In addition to alumni, are you, um, are you a legacy? Do you know anyone else who has gone to any of these schools? And these are things you can bring up, not just in this Columbia Y essay, but in, you know, in, in any of these Y essays, um, to help you show that you actually have a deeper understanding of, and more of a connection to, uh, a school than say, um, some of your, competing applicants. Um, a few last notes just overall on the YSA. So details really matter. Make sure you take careful notes on the names of the schools and programs you're applying to. Double check. Make sure you spell things right. Um, even just from our, our tiny tutorial here, you can see that there are variations in the way um, schools have named their liberal arts programs. Some schools have a college of arts and sciences. Some have a school of liberal arts. You want to make sure you get that stuff right. You want to make sure admissions knows you're paying attention. Um, be detailed. Generalities are not going to help prove your interest to admissions. Pointing out specific aspects of a program a school offers and how you plan to use them definitely will. Um, you also want to prove your worth. So you have something to offer the school just as they have something to offer to you. So map out your past experience, prove devoted interests, give examples of how all of these experiences that you've had in your past and these goals for the future are, are going to help add to the community that you're trying to become a part of. Uh, and no matter what, don't give up on your research. All of the information you need to, to make these essays um, really sing and really prove your interest in a school is there for the taking. So if you can't find it and you're throwing your hands up in the air, you can find it. Trust me. Everything is findable. Just stick with it. Send some real, spend some real deal time, like hours we're talking, uh, scouring the site for what you really want and need to know. It's really, first of all, it's just helpful for you to really understand the programs you're applying to. You want to be interested. You want to be diligent. Um, and when in doubt, if you can't find something, call the school and ask. Any admissions department, really any um, any department in general, if you call the mathematics department and have a question about what the school offers, they're going to be happy to answer your questions and your interest is going to be well received. You can do this. And uh, you have all the resources that you need, all the information about why you want to go to these schools and what makes you a valid candidate is up there in your head. You just need to get it down on the page. But if you have any questions at all uh, that we haven't answered about how to answer a supplement, feel free to leave us a comment um, on our YouTube page. Our contact information is in the description if you want to send us an email or check out our website. We also have plenty more information about uh, the Y essays and other supplements in our video series, College Essay Academy. And, uh, you know, College Essay Advisors are always here to, uh, to help you one-on-one -on -one with any of your essay related needs. So let us know if you need help and good luck.